it going folks? This is Robbie from The Classic Crime and today I am here to teach all of you how to play the song Grave Digging. So let's get on it. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a guitar, you're gonna need your hat, your favorite hat, which is, this is my favorite hat. You're gonna need a v-neck t-shirt and uh, some sweatpants and some slippers. The song is in drop D tuning, which how you achieve that, for those of you who don't know, is you tune your E string to your D string. It's tuned down, not up. You tune it down. I am Iron Man. Okay, anyway, you're gonna start out with this. This hand, and we're gonna put it on this guitar with your pointer finger on the A string on the seventh fret. Your pinky, and I will show you why later, goes on the ninth fret. And you just hit these two strings together. Now you're gonna keep this same formation for the whole intro of the song until I tell you to switch it. So right here, you're gonna go seven, and you're gonna slide up in the same formation to nine, go to 10, and then staying on 10 with your pointer finger, you're gonna slide your pinky up to the 14th fret on the G string. Now, with that being said, you're gonna do the rhythm. Moving on from that, we're gonna do the rhythm for the intro, which is also the same guitar part for the chorus. These two guitar parts go over the tops of each other in the chorus. You're just gonna need a friend or a looping pedal to play the other one. So to start off with that, you're gonna use these three strings, and you're gonna just bar them with whatever finger you feel comfortable using. So you're gonna start out on the 10th fret, Go to the seventh fret, go to the second fret, go to the fifth fret, and then you're gonna go to open. Open just means you don't have your hand on the guitar. With the rhythm involved, it goes sliding up from the fifth fret to start it. You go. With a pickup note at the end of that so that the two pickup notes from the part before match up. That is the chorus and the intro for Grave Digging. Now to move on to the verse, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the seventh fret with your pointer finger on the A string, and then you can use your ring finger or your uh, pinky finger on the D string, which is the next string down, on the ninth fret, and you're gonna keep that and do this note. This is a basic power chord. What we were doing before by barring these three top strings, we're gonna incorporate into the verse. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna play this, seventh fret, bar the seventh fret, go up to the ninth fret, then you're going to go down, back down to the seventh fret. So it's gonna go. And then you're gonna slide up to the ninth fret with your pointer finger, put your pinky finger on the twelfth uh, fret on the D string, slide down to the fifth fret, go up to the seventh fret, and while you're barring the seventh fret with your pointer finger, you're gonna use your pinky and go on the 11th fret on the D string, go down on the same string to the ninth fret, go up to the G string on the 11th fret, go down to the ninth fret on the G string. So while doing all of that, you're gonna go. Now to add into the gallops, that part's pretty easy. Um, all it adds really is gallops for the rhythm and the verse, and you're gonna do some palm muting. So for palm muting, you're gonna put, rest your palm right on the, uh, the edge right before it meets the bridge of the guitar, like so. And so the rhythm sounds like this. So really quick, the bridge part of the song is really easy. It's these top three strings, and you're gonna bar them and just go to the second fret and go, and then go open. So the rhythm for that is. Underneath that, you're gonna slide up using that first formation to the seventh fret, which is your pointer finger on the seventh fret, your ring finger or your pinky finger on the ninth fret, and you're just gonna go. So folks,
folks, to jump to the solo really quick, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ring finger, we're gonna put it on the G string on the 12th fret, take our pointer finger, go the B and the A string on the 10th fret, and we're gonna bend up the G string while picking those three notes. Now after that, you're gonna take with your ring finger and you're gonna bar the G and the B string on your 12th fret and go back and forth between the 12th, the 10th, and the D string on the 12th fret. So it goes. You're gonna slide back up. On that. Um, All together it sounds like. That's the first part of the solo. To jump to the tapping part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right hand and put our pointer finger on the 12th fret, our pointer finger on our left hand on the seventh fret, and then our ring finger onto the 10th fret. And we're gonna kinda do some hammer on pull offs, if you know what those are, um, for the beginning of that. Together it sounds like. To end the solo, it's simple as going up to the 19th fret, doing the first formation of the solo on the 19th and just picking it through. Now what the solo should not sound like is this. I like to play. So once again, my name's Robbie, and I just taught you folks how to play our song Grave Digging. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a guitar lesson, so it was a little bit long. Um, yeah, leave your comments below. Let me know what songs you want to learn in the future. And hope you folks have a great day.